Hey, what's up? It's Kirichigo. Back here today with another game off of Ichio called No Delivery. Which I think is a game um, based around a pizza place. And uh, kind of a horror game. Yeah, based on pizza place. No uh, Five Nights at Freddy's vibes. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit different of a game. I'm going into the Super Blonde. I've just heard very good things here and there about it. Kind of just heard it was good and downloaded it. I don't really know anything about what the gameplay is like, to be honest, but yeah, we'll see how much of this I get through. It might be kind of a shorter video. I don't have as much time at the moment, but I wanted to make a quick little video on something. Yeah, I just have heard of this over the past few days and wanted to check it out. But a sensitive sensitivity warning. I don't think I'm going to have a seizure. I think I'm okay. Cut to five minutes in and for some reason I'm having a seizure. Uh, <laughs> let's hope not. No delivery is about making the most of your impending doom. You will not always be equipped for the encounters ahead. An escape may be the only viable option. Employees will die and your progress and actions are permanent. This game supports an autosave feature. Please do not close the game when the below icon is visible. I used to work as a pizza delivery driver, so I hope this doesn't cut too close to home. <laughs> but thankfully I haven't uh, had that job in a while, because that was a very uh, toxic fucking environment, to be completely honest, unfortunately. Hello, Steez. This, whose name? His name is Steez? Holy shit. He's stuck straight out of like 93. steez Aroni Pizza? That's quite the name. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> this is supposed to be like throwback. You like to order a pizza. Sure. Let's start with the dough. <laughs> what crust do you prefer? I don't know why I'm giving her this voice, I just am. Uh I like thin crust personally. That's just me. I see, enjoy your cracker. What? <laughs> Damn. She called me out. And what would you like on it? Oh, I know it's gonna piss her off. She already is giving me attitude. Fuck it. <laughs> or, sure, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that. Okay, so you wanted a regular pepperoni pizza. Bitch, that's not- Wait, what? Were you listening? That is not what I said. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> all we have is pepperoni, so like it or not, you're getting pepperoni. Then why did you even ask? <laughs> so what time do you want to swing by to pick it up? What do I mean? No, 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 we don't, we don't do. <laughs> there is no delivery. <laughs> kind of regretting giving you this voice now. At least not now. Hey, you. Oh, she looking at me? Great. Yeah, you there. It's already breaking the fourth wall. Fucking Jesus Christ. You're hired. <laughs> what is that? That background reminds me of something. See, this is definitely like some throwback shit. Reminds me of like the Rugrats or something. Congratulations, if you are viewing this tape, that means you were recently hired as our latest employee. Listen to that fucking groove in the back, damn. Before getting started, here are a few fundamental elements of employment all aspiring employees should know. Professionalism. Professionalism deals with how you conduct yourself among the guests and your peers. Always willing to please, a professional employee knows, knows the best way to navigate social situations. All within policy limits, of course. Competence. Competence refers to the level of technical skill and the ability to follow directions. This ranges from serving orders on time to the rate the dishes are washed. A model employee always gets the deed done, no matter how dirty. Fun. <laughs> F is for friends. Somehow I, I don't think they're gonna put as much emphasis on this one. And lastly, fun is the length an employee is willing to go to create a family-friendly environment. Ski. You know a skeet ball? 
shooting skeet ball. Are those little Pokemon plushes? What are those? Those are kind of cute. This includes making the guests feel invited and welcome to dine with us. This is to create the festive controlled environment we are known for. Steezeroni training video. Now that you understood or understand the fundamental elements of employment, you'll be ready to tackle anything that comes your way. The fuck? Oh, Jesus. Are those like <laughs> the different rooms? Why is it giving me a map right now? Speaking of ways, if you ever want to take a wrong turn anywhere on the premise, please note that it is outside our realm of responsibility. This includes any stroll investigation or extermination related tasks that may occur during said wrong turns. Rest assured, wrong turns pose no danger or threat exclusively to the business, <laughs> but all of the danger to you. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of what that's sounding like. Um, in the unlikely event of employee termination and items, all items and funds of the previous employee will be passed on to their replacement. So you won't lose your items and shit? You might just lose... I don't know. Hopefully you don't lose like too much progress or whatever. It sounds like there's most likely going to be times where you're dying. Again, congratulations on making it to the team. Yay! And remember, your safety as an employee is our number one priority. Yeah, I bet. Uh-huh. Sounds like it. What the fuck? What? This is the... <laughs> this is the pizza place? Uh, whoops. I'm just trying to find out what interacts with stuff. I would hit the Windows key while doing that. Arrow keys to move, shift to dash. Okay. Oh, Z to confirm. Okay. Employee file. Toggle filter. Interesting. Kind of like it with it on. I don't know, I can't tell. We're just gonna make the capture kinda funky, maybe. Can't talk to this. Oh, <laughs> I, I realize that's trash now. I thought that was like a dude laying down. Um, lots of uh, things hanging from the ceiling. That's definitely not off-putting. Keep going, I guess. Take a closer look, yes. What is this piece of garbage? You find an open gift box on the floor. Look inside. Sticking your hand inside, you feel something pull you in. Holy shit, we're playing Earthbound now? You can't escape. Can't escape. Party's over. <laughs> you are fired. <laughs> Whoa. Shit, that was quick. Fear level terrified. <laughs> Severance fee. Fifty dollars? Jesus. Robbing the shit out of you. The charade for the child continues. The establishment beckons. What? Is that like a scripted loss? I really can't tell if I was supposed to just die there or not on purpose. All debts must be repaid, but today is not that day. Do not disappoint me. What? <laughs> you got $50. I thought we just lost $50. <laughs> this is such a weird game so far. I don't know how to feel about it. There is no escape so long as you work here. Employee fired, re-rolling new employee. Oh look, we're cute now. Why are we wearing like a referee jersey? Fear level chill. Liability killjoy. Manager's console. 
I don't know more about these wrong turns. Interesting. Turn to console. Uh, employee. Personal file. Oh, we just saw this. Can't really figure out what's up with the earthbound kind of shit going on. Start shift. Picked up a piece of trash, probably best to throw it away properly. <laughs> but the trash can is tipped over. Who would do such a thing? A dirty imprint of a stool. It may have been used to reach the window. Someone made a break for it. They were just on a really bad date and they needed a way out. Caution. The yellow tape bars entry, it's stronger than it looks. Why am I just picking up trash though? It's gonna be used. Oh, she can run too, shit. He, she, can't tell. Um. Pretty swaggy though. <laughs> this is a- I like the sprites. They uh, I don't know. They just have a little charm to them. Oh, see, now we can throw these away. Brrr. Trash for green stuff. Uh, is that... Oh, like... I, th I thought he was saying, like, it's a trash can for green stuff. I didn't realize he was saying, like, give me trash and I'll give you green stuff, like money. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That makes way more sense now. Um, cool. Bring more soon. Vending machine is a familiar sight. Take a look. Food. Can be eaten to restore health or thrown to prove a point. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that going to be relevant later? Is not open from this side. Sweet. Wet floor sign smartly used to cover up the messes. Messes that can be cleaned up anyways. What is this? Strands of long hair can be found all over the sink. You got one razor? <laughs> Why did we want a razor? An insightly crack uh crack mars the mirror's surface? What? Is that like a I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest. Assuming it just means is on the mirror. <laughs> and then some kind of weird creepy crawly hands. Locked. So is that all the trash we can pick up or? Yeah, we came out of here. All the trash. Let me see if it does anything now. Brr. Trash for green stuff. Bring more soon. I don't know if there is more, man. Yeah, I can't go through either of these doors. else in here. Let's see, we have a razor. Oh, used the razor. Oh, we cut the caution tape. Something is clogging the toilet. Investigate. Sticking your hand inside, you strangely feel two objects floating around. I hate this. Um, this is not going to end well. Regardless of what is inside. <laughs> Pull... The hard object. You found the closet key. Properly 
will probably brown with rust. Yeah, that's what it is. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Come on, guys. So what was the other thing? And also, is this the closet? No, that's... This one, I guess. Unlocked. Oh, there's tons of trash in here. It's wiggling. Someone there. Listen, I know what this looks like. But please, don't cut me loose. Um... Oh, I see. It's his fetish. I see. He likes being wrapped up. <laughs> it's some BDSM shit or some shit. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm still in the middle of it. What? Hard to, oh, he thinks he's a fucking... Butterfly or some shit. He thinks he's in a cocoon? The fuck? This dude is... Uh, definitely a little worse off than we are. Even if just mentally. <laughs> just a little more and I can go outside. Uh, well, he said not to cut him loose. I'm not going to cut the man loose. He needs to... Needs to blossom, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Any moment now. Uh, I do kind of want that, whatever that present is, but I don't know if we can... We might have to, uh, cut him loose. It's a personal dossier from the delivery boy position. Probably got lost over time. It contains info on the strangers and regulations employees must abide by. Inside is a worn martial arts manual from some new franchise. It was strangely entertaining read. Oh, it was a strangely entertaining read. A level up delivery boy position <laughs> skill sewer rat style. What does that even mean? It's required that all present and future employees in the position know this skill ensures stronger employees in the position. Foldable stool, take it. Oh yeah, if we can take it, definitely. A breeze comes up from the vent. <laughs> uh, not going in there yet. Hmm, I wonder if we should set this guy free or not. Kind of don't want to. You said leave him alone. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm sticking to that. Guess we're going in the vent. As little as I want to. Stench flows through the metal passage. It's quite raunchy. Keep going. That's a way to describe it. Um, there is some kind of movement besides your own. Fuck. Uh, keep going? Hell yeah. We ain't quitting now. Something softly grips your leg as you crawl. Keep going. Uh, you start smelling fresh air. The other side might be close. Well, we made it. <laughs> fuck. Who is... who... who is that down there on the right? Who the fuck... Who are you, sir? <gasps> what the hell? Um, that's just there to throw you off, really? You don't do anything with him? That's, uh, ominous as fuck. The vending machine is a familiar sight. Take a look. Oh, now we got different options. Comes with a flash that may stun a target, but is disposed upon use. Oh, so you can stun a, an enemy with that? Just to clean up all kinds of messes, employees tend to go through a lot of these. Uh, well, I'll keep in mind that these are here. How much money do I have? I have 60, so I do have plenty if I want to get some stuff, I guess. Just don't know exactly what I'll need yet. There's a stack of flashcards behind the desk. They detail different party protocols. Angry guest protocol. In the event a disgruntled customer begins to cause trouble, control the situation, find the cause of the issue, say yes, serve any substitutes in stock. Congratulations, you have now learned to use subterfuge to avert a messy situation.
wrong order protocol. In the event a guest does not receive what they order, do not attempt to remedy the issue by preparing the correct order. Instead, let the, go uh, the guest cool off and immerse themselves in the restaurant environment, and then proceed to serve whatever's in stock. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> that'll definitely work on fucking crazy customers. Um, congratulations, if the guest is still there, they are willing and able to come back for seconds. If not, that means they were taken care of. Okay. Man, who wrote these fucking protocols? Birthday protocol. Reserved parties like birthdays call for special treatment. Guests must be placed in the auditorium where they will be treated to a special birthday routine by the onstage cast. The song must be performed for the entire duration of the party. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that wouldn't get old fast. Congratulations, you have provided special birthday activities for our guests and prevented another incident. Yeah, it seems like it's all about preventing incidents. Even though they're not really doing it in the best way possible. It's a mascot animatronic. Listen to its routine. I'd rather not, but we'll listen. Rehearsal protocol engaged. Ooh, here's another one. <laughs> Standard operation requires surfaces clear of foreign contaminants. If you see another one of me, do you mind cleaning us up? We'll give you something nice in return. What the fuck? Okay, I guess those heal you then? The plaque says employee of the month. It's just a picture of the backdrop. Probably is yet to be determined. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I find that so funny. Um, I mean, are we supposed to, is, am I supposed to infer that I'm the only employee right now? Or, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. So... Bring more soon. You got it, buddy. Mr. Trash Man. Um... I'd rather not answer that, but... Hello? 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 Uh, hi. Welcome to your first night on the job. Aside from the position you were hired for, all employees have shared responsibilities. These include maintaining cleanliness, disposing of leftover party memorabilia, and general extermination of any attracted pests. Okay, so here we are again with the extermination of pests topic. Other than that, you have access to anywhere on the premises. Except for, you know, locked places. Heh, I know, right? And that's the end of the script. You got any questions? Yeah, I thought so. Good luck tonight. Venue unlocked. Lobby. You can now return to the manager's console at any telephone. How big is this pizza place? Like... <laughs> Kinda seems, uh... A little big for a pizza joint. You got a dish. Why do I want those? Can I... See, it's it's like leading me to believe we're gonna have to fight things, but... Can't really tell how soon that's gonna happen. An unsightly crack mars the wall's surface. I have never seen that word used like that. Interesting. It seems thin enough to hear what's on the other side. Show. You trying to watch a show right now? Puppet show? <laughs> I'm a little freaked out, but we'll try this. Ooh, a guest. Welcome. Who the fuck? Who is this, like... <laughs> who is this, like, fleshy-looking Elmo motherfucker? Like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? <laughs> this dude's gonna do a puppet show? Or is he the puppet? I can't tell. Oh, you're not a customer. Just another one of them schmucks. At least we're not alone tonight. 
So you're the new attendant, huh? I'm a part of the show cast. We kinda. We spend our time entertaining the kiddos while you get your hands dirty, so to say. But that's a good thing. I mean, at least you didn't end up like the last guy. What, challenging a random box on the street and getting sucked in and dying? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of glad he didn't end up like him. Or the guy before him, or the one before. <laughs> I wonder how long you'll last. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> anyway, I'll be around if you need an ear. That's about all I can offer, really. Alright, weird-ass fucking shitpost Elmo. I'll come back if I need someone to listen to my thoughts and my troubles. Another one of these. And I'm done answering phones, though. I do not want to answer another phone here. It's a mascot animatronic. Insert tickets. I do not have tickets. Shop. Oh, you can buy tickets from... from here. Okay. I don't know about that yet. <laughs> Pop the balloon. Not yet. Let me answer the phone. Welcome to your first night on the... Oh wait. Sigh. Listen. I'm just gonna give you the lowdown. Do your job. When you clean, go deep. But not too deep. No one's coming after you. That's not what it feels like, son. Uh, if you see anything strange or suspicious, just ignore it. It'll probably go away eventually. And stay out of the places that look locked up. Got it? I'd ask you... Or I'd ask if you had any questions, but pro tip, don't ask too many questions. You know, try not to think too hard about all this. Whatever it is, there's probably a reason for it in company policy somewhere. Okay, unlocked the arcade. It's a personal dossier for the waitress position. Probably got lost over time. It contains info on the standards and regulations employees must abide by. Waitress position level up. Hell yeah. <laughs> New skill, takeout. It requires that all present and future employees in the position know this skill. Ensures stronger employees in the position. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to... Get a ticket and see what that does, or pop this balloon. You pop the balloon. A balloon floats in your way. <laughs> no way. Oh man, I missed the balloon. How shitty of a fighter am I? I keep missing, really. There's something I pop it with. Maybe I'm supposed to have like an item to pop it with. Cause yeah, none of my skills seem to... What? Why did the music just... Go all crazy? What the fuck? <laughs> you got plus one trash, plus one dish, plus one ticket. Okay, now we don't even, uh, even have to buy the ticket. It's a mascot animatronic. Insert tickets. Select prizes. Uh... Do I only have one? How many? Yeah, I only got one. Okay, so... Pop rocks. Huh. <laughs> See, I just don't know what anything, you know, like, does yet, so I'm just kind of worried to, uh, start just buying things. There's these... huh. Wet floor signs. Smartly used to cover up messes. This is that can be cleaned up anyways, so... Am I supposed to use... Huh, because I think you can buy... What was it? A broom or a mop or something? Maybe we can clean that up with that? And then get back to the present? Because I really want to see what the presents are for. I skipped over that other one because I didn't want to disturb that dude, but I was just worried something bad was going to happen, honestly. Based on... What happened to the first, uh... <laughs> uh, employee, quote-unquote, that 
I was playing as. Play a game. Wrong turn. You took a wrong turn, distracted by the cabinet in front of you. After losing your last game, you notice that your surroundings are not the same as when you first started playing. It's been reported that guests would turn up in different places after playing for a certain time. Rumor has it that those who play too often are moved further and further inside the restaurant. Okay, the arcade. Whoa. Um. Keep going. Damn. Take a closer look. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this because this is what happened to the last dude. Uh, leave it alone. I'm not doing that again. Keep going. While enjoying the game, your environment begins to melt around you. Whoa. Uh, sure. Spurned by his creator, the Abomination seeks sanctuary among the settlements of mankind, but when man and monster clash, who is the true Abomination? This is just bouncing all over the place, huh? Like, I know it's like they know what they're doing, but like, it, I don't know, it does sometimes give me the vibes that it's like this game doesn't know what it wants to be, but I think that's like the point. I don't, it's very kind of, uh, surreal. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it for certain aspects. It's very interesting, to say the least. And these weird, yeah, kind of earthbound style RPG fight kind of things are interesting as well. Um, could I, I still can't use, oh, because I have to have pizza slices and tickets to use these. Okay, I just realized that, actually. Good for frisbee. I don't know why I did that, that obviously didn't do shit. <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna die. Because yeah, I didn't buy any, uh... Any healing items, I guess, but... Kinda seems like you were gonna die here anyways. Back to work. See, I, I really just cannot tell how much of this is scripted and how much is not. Ticket found. So now I have four tickets, right? So I can use those more interesting uh, attacks, I guess. Huh. Such a bizarre game so far, man. While enjoying the game, your environment begins to melt around you. New game. Welcome to the redacted pizzeria training program. I thought it was, uh, like, Steezeroni. <laughs> what happened to that? Please refer to the module for options. Professionalism. An angry customer comes up to you. I ordered diet redacted. Not regular redacted. <laughs> but you just ran out of diet redacted. What do you do? Um. Get a diet redacted outside. You are wrong. In the time taken to get the drink outside, you would have wasted the customer's time and efficient or uh, effectively the company's money. Well, it didn't like that answer. <laughs> I was just trying to please the customer, I guess, but uh, yeah, I should have realized that earlier in that training manual or whatever, it wasn't exactly uh, doing everything they could for the customer and how they described things, so I should have taken that as a hint, probably. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Miss. You feel their eyes upon you? Whose eyes? Oh, party's over. Yeah, we died. Hmm. 
You are fired. <laughs> huh. Wonder where we start at then. Employee fired, re-rolling new employee. Mascot. <gasps> oh. I'm I'm a I'm a pup? I'm a doggy? Why am I a dog? And then right on cue, there's <laughs> I think some some neighbor dogs barking in the back. That was <laughs> that was super on point. <laughs> or on cue, go figure. Um Wow, I'm playing as a dog. Uh I can honestly say I didn't expect that. <laughs> Start shift. <laughs> I guess I'm starting my shift as pupper. I'm just a dog now for some reason. <laughs> Why am I a dog? Um, wet floor sign, smartly used to cover up messes. So, was it her I could buy? Uh, no. Where was it that I could buy, like, the... the broom or the mop or whatever it was? Bucket and the mop. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I never went in here either, huh? What the fuck? Who... in the fuck was that? Um, alright, well, we'll go fit. uh, <laughs> find out who that guy was in a second. Unfortunately, I do think I'll have to wrap up kinda soon. Ah, oh, there's that creepy-ass fucking clown dude again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this has been really fun. I'll definitely, uh, hopefully take another look at this in another video at some point. I know I say that about everything that I do part ones of, and <laughs> I have several things I still need to get to, uh, multiple parts of and stuff, but... I don't know, there's just a lot of games I've been wanting to get to, and a lot of things I keep hearing about and wanting to try out, so... I kind of like starting up a bunch of different things and seeing what I get to, you know, I don't really commit myself to doing full entire playthroughs of everything necessarily, but kind of just what I feel like getting to. It's been hard, kind of harder to get to videos recently, but yeah, definitely uh, just doing what I can and uh, getting to what feels fun and interesting, like when I go to record or whatever. And this just kind of has sounded good for the past couple days. I've been wanting to play this. So yeah, hopefully we will get to a, a part two of this. I do want to keep seeing uh, where it goes from here, because it's been very interesting. Uh, yeah, let's buy a broom. Oh, we lost so much money. Damn. That sucks. Well, huh. I do want to go back to the right, but I want to see if this works. I'm trying to clean this up here. Yeah, see, that is how that works. It's a gift box. Open it. Who is this? Oh no, it's this guy again. It wiggles suggestively. Uh. Attack. Easy prey. Feel their eyes upon you. What does that mean? Lay a fresh one and assault targets with smell. Uh, I'm good off of that one. <laughs> when did I get that ability? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, oh, well, I have a bunch of trash to sell. Whoa. This song kind of kicks. Y'all could have, uh... <laughs> Y'all need to EQ that kick drum a little bit fucking different. <laughs> that shit sounds rough, my dude. Not gonna lie. Um. Guess we'll just keep attacking then, yeah. Oh yeah, that's really loud. It's like the loudest thing in the game by far. Miss. Motherfucker. Feel their eyes upon you. I thought they already were upon us. Got him. Fifty dollars found. I guess that was worth it. Two ammo? One pop rocks, one firecracker. You got two firecrackers. I don't know what that... Uh, does yet. <laughs> uh, I guess we can check our 
menu, right? And look at them. Surprisingly not edible, but throwing it at the ground makes a nice pop, deals some damage. So they're, they're attacks. Packs a punch when thrown at someone's face. <laughs> uh, raises employment standards, ensures employees in position are stronger and more experienced. Hmm. Pop the balloon. Balloon floats in your way. Attack of the balloon. You got one trash, one dish, one ticket. Is there a trash can in here? There he is. Oh, I can sell these to him as well. Okay, cool. Bring more soon. Yeah, there's a lot to this game. This is... <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying this. Earlier I was kind of like not really sure what to feel about it quite yet, but honestly at this point I... I'm really enjoying this. Pop the balloon. Balloon floats in your way. Attack. Trash, a dish, a ticket. One more time. What can you get from this? Or I can insert a ticket and see what happens. Um. Oh, it's just... So, oh, so you can get those, uh, those weapons from those little robots. Got it. Because before, when I saw those, I didn't realize what they were for. Let me go back over here, check it out real quick, and then probably wrap up. Pop the balloon. Oh, we probably shouldn't have done this. Yeah, no, it killed me. I forget it pops and hurts you. <laughs> ah, well, shit. I guess I will have to uh, pick it back up in the next part. Um, hopefully I will get around to doing that pretty soon, but... Yeah, I guess we'll have to come back. Uh, oh man, yeah, it took so much, uh, so much of our money. <laughs> oh, we get to be a new employee. No, but I liked being the dog! Damn, I liked being the doggo. I'm very sad. Shit, alright, well... Yeah, that will have to be it for, uh, for this video. But, uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> definitely super back and forth and kind of all over the place kind of a game. It's very... I don't know. Like, I couldn't tell if it knew what it was doing with itself, but you can tell that it, yeah, it definitely does. It's got pretty interesting, uh, RPG kind of aspects that I didn't realize at first were going to be involved, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. Got some uh, spooky vibes to it. I'm liking it a lot. Hopefully, uh, end up getting back to it here. Not too long, but yeah, at this point, I'm going to wrap up. So thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it when anyone checks out these videos. Thank you so much for uh, giving it a view. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here at this point. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Kidigigo.